And so we come to day 33 of Lent. It's always a Saturday and it marks the beginning of the last week of Jesus' life. Lord willing, I want to do a devotional each one of those days based on something that happened in that day. So what happened on that last Saturday? Well, we read about it in John chapter 12. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served and Lazarus was among those reclining with him at the table. We know the story well, how Lazarus was reclining with Jesus at the table. Mary was sitting at his feet on the floor. Martha was preparing food in the kitchen. After supper, we remember that Mary came and anointed his feet with an expensive perfume and Judas criticized her. I wonder who you identify with in that scene. Lazarus at the table, Mary at the feet, Martha in the kitchen, maybe one of the disciples watching from the shadows, or even Judas. I asked my wife who she identified with in this story, and without hesitation she said, Martha slaving around in the kitchen while everyone is lounging around outside. I guess that tells you something about our marriage, and in self-defense I must say that I do mow the lawns and I do vacuum the house. But there it was. I identify more with Lazarus or with Mary sitting at his feet. I long to sit at Jesus' feet, but it isn't always easy to know how. When we were young people, we always left Johannesburg on Boxing Day and went down to Natal to the Union Bible Institute nestled in the hills above Peter Maritzburg. It was a place called Sweetwaters, and we called it Sweetwaters Camp. 400 young people gathered together just to listen to preaching, preaching all day before breakfast, a little break after lunch, no entertainment, and we all sat there. My favorite was always the evening where we had wonderful singing. And then the principal of the college, Bernard Johansson, already an old man by then, we all called him Padre, he would preach. Often he would start with 15 minutes and then say, now that was just introduction, that was injury time, that doesn't count. And we'd all laugh, but he'd go on another hour and 400 young people just lapped it up. Sometimes the mist would come up and encapsulate us in our little corner of heaven. I've never felt so close to sitting at Jesus' feet as I did back then. And so we come to the scene in John 12. And I wondered, out of all the things one could share out of this very rich story, what would I like to share with you? And the thought that came to me was the wonderful warmth of the occasion. It's the warmest event in the whole of the Gospels. We've made Christmas seem like a warm event to us, but it wasn't. This was the nicest, warmest event in the Gospels. Jesus had said, the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. He didn't have a home of his own. And the home of Mary, Martha and Lazarus was the closest thing he got to it, and he really loved it. And I wondered, why did God give him this particular event on the last Saturday of his life? With good friends, good company, good conversation, and maybe with the smell of roast lamb drifting from Martha's kitchen. Why did God give him that? And it came to me, it may have been, that God just wanted to give him this gift before he began his passion. Just to reward him. Just because he loved him. Just to give him strength for what was to come. Because the next morning it would all begin. And the next week would be absolutely full of teaching and controversy. Prickling with tension. And ending with sacrifice and suffering and death. God sometimes gives us times like that. We know life can't all be like that. But sometimes God gives us a gift of those warm, rich times, friends, fellowship, and God's presence close. And all I can do when those times come, just be grateful and receive them. And I'm particularly grateful that God gave him that gift before he set out on his road to Calvary for you and me. Have pain.